Hey, it's Tuesday, July 31st, 2018. I'm John Knox in Los Angeles. Now, this picture has been taken off the internet. It's a suburban neighborhood uh, believed to be near the Carr Fire, that's C-A-R-R, -R, which is uh, near Redding, California. Now, we're talking about fires. Irregular, unpredictable, raging forces of nature, okay? Now, when the forest fire comes to a suburban development, we're going to take a look at how this particular forest fire, this force of nature, decided to burn when it got to the suburban development. Now, let's drift the camera a little bit to the left. Now, this forest fire, when it got to this suburban tract, decided that the houses were more important to burn than the trees. And we're going to drift down a little bit here, speaking of trees. now. To the left of this group of trees or bushes, you see the shell of a burned out car. Now, the energy that it takes to blast all of the glass out of the car, to burn all the rubber tires off the car, that's pretty intense energy. So in that spot, there was an amazing amount of energy and heat being expended. And yet, the trees and the bushes off to the right of this particular car did not burn. Okay. That's strange. That's an anomaly, and that's been repeated over and over again in many of the fires. However, if we drift the camera up and to the right, we're going to find something that this irregular, unpredictable, raging force of nature decided to do. The left of this property is decimated. The right of the property, probably about a third of the house, looks like what happens to a decoration on the top of a wedding cake when it's cut. So this irregular, unpredictable, raging force of nature decided to do this to this house. Pretty amazing fires. Okay, so let's pull out a little bit and take a look at all of the lots that are in this picture. The thing that you're going to notice is the decimation, the obliteration is consistent. Every house is built differently. It has different uh, pieces of furniture and, and has different things inside it. They all should burn very differently. But what you see here is a replicated pattern of absolute decimation. So to me, this says something that's repeatable and it's accurate and persistent. That's a system. This is not the mark of a force of nature. Okay? So... On Tuesday, uh, July 31st, 2018, the common sense of what I'm showing you just in this one picture basically says whatever the explanation that we've had so far from the officials about what causes these fires is basically a lie. So, when I cultivate my common sense, and I know I'm being lied to, I find out that there's more and more and more reasons as we go along to stay curious.